another religious liberty victory. This court case that went on way too long, years of litigation, uh, just to say that there's no constitutional crisis for a football coach at a public school to go on to the, whether it's the 50 yard line or the end zone and pray on their own. That's what this is about. Is there a constitutional crisis? And the court and said, the lower court said yes. Lower court said yes. Uh, Supreme Court six to three said absolutely not. You will have an establishment clause violation if the government said, for instance, for you to be a officer of uh, a police officer, you have to believe in this religion or that religion. Or if if you want to get your uh, diploma, you have to go to this uh, baccalaureate service yeah. at a high school. Or if you want to play next weekend at the football, the football game. game, you have to participate in the prayer by the coach. That would be a violation. This is important to note is that the free exercise clause, which has meant nothing to courts for decades, means something to this current court. And they've done that time and time again. Yeah. Uh, they've shown that. And that they don't just bow down and say, well, if there's the exercise clause and the establishment clause at issue, the establishment clause always wins. That is no longer the case no, anymore. No, in fact, they cited our case of Mergens versus Board of Education for this proposition. Uh, the, the establishment clause does not compel the government to purge from the public sphere anything an objective observer would reasonably infer as endorsement of her takes of religion. In other words, you cannot, the fact that there is a religious connotation to it doesn't mean it's immune from First Amendment speech and free exercise protection. It's a big win. This case very much staying in line with where the court has been building when it comes to religious liberty in the public square, especially when it involves uh, uh, young people, students, minors, basically, is what we're talking about. But again, the court said that this coach had the constitutional right uh, to make that prayer. So that firing uh, of him for doing that uh, was wrong. Private religious speech, which has been true since Mergens, is constitutionally protected when um, when you have the mechanisms of government involved, not so much. Private religious speech is a protected right, and we can no longer utilize the Establishment Clause to infringe on private religious speech. In past cases, the Supreme Court has allowed what could be called the heckler's veto. Yep. Someone who simply objected to the kind of speech engaged in by Coach Kennedy or someone else. This court, I think, has now firmly established that the heckler's veto has now been sent to the grave. The biggest aspect of this case was, was the court going to leave in place what we call in the legal world the lemon test? And this was this very complex three-part legal test to determine if an activity violated the establishment clause, separation of church and state, as the left likes to call it. It was completely, again, subjective to what just what kind of majority you had. You could always say the lemon test prevented something. You could always say that you could also ignore the lemon test. That's like what Justice, the late Justice Scalia would talk about is that most of the time they did ignore it until they felt like they needed to bring it back from the dead. I mean, that that's, ex yeah, exactly, that's exactly what he said. And uh, as, as some commentators have said today, maybe this is the final nail in the coffin so that it can't keep coming back. Justice Scalia wrote in a case that's also cited in this opinion, Lamb's Chapel, which was uh, the ability of a church to use school facilities for a, a educational film series from a Christian perspective, which was denied, and we won that unanimously also. What's interesting about that case, Justice Scalia said that the lemon test was like, a, he called it a ghoul in a late night horror show that scares school districts and evidently school children um, because it continues to come out of, as he called it, the grave to, to wreak havoc on the free speech and free exercise clauses in the guise of an establishment clause problem. His reasoning in that case was utilized here. This particular court opinion restores the viability of religion within the framework of public life so long as there... that. So long as there is no evidence of coercive intent or action by the individual. And so in this particular case, Coach Kennedy simply knelt by himself at the middle of the field. He didn't coerce anyone. He didn't demand that the district endorse his religious perspective. The court has finally said that the shortcomings associated with the lemon test, uh, the chaos that it created in its wake, where you could never really determine what was legal and what wasn't, that we've reached a new season now.